Hey everybody and welcome back to Twitch of Students. Today we're going to be looking at GeForce Now on Android phone. This service is another video game streaming service that allows you to stream PC games to your Android phone using games that you already own. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's just dive into it shall we. And there are a couple of options. There is the free option which gives you an hour long session or you can pay the £24.95 for 6 months for extended sessions and RTX on. Now what this does is this takes games you already own, you have to own the games, but you can then play them on your phone using the GeForce Now app and it streams them from the cloud service and not from your PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do on your Android phone is hook up a controller as always. I'm going to be using the PlayStation 4 controller, but you can use the Xbox controller if you want to know how to hook those up to your Android phone, then just check out my videos in the description down below. Go to the Play Store and type in GeForce Now. Then click the NVIDIA GeForce Now and click install. That will install them onto your phone. Once that's installed, click open, agree and continue. Once you've opened the app, click the settings cog, click NVIDIA account, then click NVIDIA when it says log into your GeForce Now provider and log in to your GeForce account. Okay, so I'm logged in. Then click Game Sync. I can log into my Steam account. Once I've logged into my Steam account, I will then be able to access my games. Now that my Steam account is linked, I can go back and I can reset the app to get access to my games. So there it is, access to all the games that I have on Steam. I have a lot of games on Steam. I'm going to choose one right now. These are all the ones that are compatible. And yes, I did buy Home from the Revolution. And yes, I did enjoy it, actually. So I'm going to start by trying to play Watch Dogs 2. I think that I may have to do this downstairs and then bring the footage back up. I need to log into my Steam account again. Latency is high, it says. That's probably because of my network. I need to sort that setting out. And record probably re record all these videos again. Ubisoft Connect. It's not done it, has it? Oh. So after after four minutes or so, the game has launched in a little mini computer screen. There is Watch Dogs 2 running on an Android phone. It's looking fine. Let's continue. New rewards accessible from the Ubisoft Club. I wonder what computer this is running off. It's running off someone else's computer. Cloud gaming. This is all on my Android phone, by the way. I'm doing this via the USB-C streaming this to my computer from the phone. I'm also using a PlayStation 4 controller hooked up to my Android phone. If you want to know how to do that, then you can check the links out in the description down below. And I, you can also use an Xbox controller as well. I'm getting those massive network warnings, so I'm not sure this is going to run very fast. But the fact that it's running is going to be enough. Then I'm going to need to do some network settings and come back and check it again. There we go. That's Watch Dogs 2 running on an Android phone. I mean, graphically... I mean, graphically, it's not the absolute best. I think you can change that in the settings. Let's see if we can change that in the settings. Let's go to video settings. And we can. The video adapter is an NVIDIA Tesla 10O. Brilliant. It's currently at 720p. Which is probably the uh, max my bandwidth can support right now. You can have it at 1080. Let's put the FPS limit up. Yep. 
and then you can mess around with all the settings here to give yourself a better looking game. Let's see how well this runs. Let's put everything up high. It's probably going to run like absolute trash now because of all the data that's got to be come over, but. Yeah, let's go with that. What was the name of that card again? Tesla T10. Well, we've upped the quality, apparently. Started running very slow. Latency is very high. Okay, let's... I'm going to do some me messing about with my network settings, see if I can make this a little bit better, because three, all three tests this morning have gone pretty bad as far as latency is concerned, and I think it's down to network settings and nothing to do with the phone itself. So I'm going to mess around with that, and I'll get back to you. Anyway, there it is, GeForce Now Watch Dogs 2 playing on a mobile phone. GeForce Now, a way to play games that you already own on Steam. Anywhere in the world, as long as you have a decent enough connection. And that's it for this video. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.